Hi, I'm Jess, a Folsom Lake College student and I work in Admissions and Records. After completing your online application, orientation, assessment, and academic planning session, you'll be ready to complete steps five and six of the Steps to Success, registering and paying for your classes. You can choose to do this online yourself or get help from staff in the Welcome and Student Success Center. The Student Success Team is here to help you if you have any issues or questions as you are registering for classes. Today, I'm going to walk you through the online process and provide some helpful tips as we go to make sure you're ready when it's time for you to enroll. Let's begin. Start on the Folsom Lake College homepage. The web address is flc.losrios.edu. From the homepage, click on the link for the eService Student Portal. On the login page, enter your student ID number beginning with a W and your password. The first time you log in, you will be prompted to update your major. If you're having any login issues, you can visit the Admissions and Records office in person with your photo ID for assistance. Once you log into eServices, you might be prompted to complete your supplemental enrollment form. New students will not be prompted to complete this form. You must complete this form each semester to verify or update your contact information before you can enroll in classes. On the eServices Student Center homepage, you will find your account activity, such as transcripts, class schedules, your student education plan, and more. You can review whether you have any holds on your records, which may prevent you from enrolling in classes. From your eService homepage, you can also check your enrollment appointment, which tells you the exact time and date when you can begin enrolling in classes. Before you begin enrolling in your classes, be sure to click on the Student Ed Plan tab toward the top of the page. Use the student education plan that you created either with a counselor or in the academic planning session to pick out your classes. When you are ready to select your classes for registration, from the home page, click Search for Classes. Select the correct term, subject, class number, and the college at which you would like to take the course. If you would only like to view classes that are open and not waitlisted or closed, check the Show Open Classes box. Once you see the results, click the Select button next to the class that you want to learn more about. Pay attention to the enrollment information and class notes which will alert you to important details, like whether the class has any prerequisites or co-requisites, or if there's a mandatory orientation for the class. If everything looks okay, click the next button. This class will now be added to your shopping cart. If you are able to register for classes, you can follow the process to register, or the classes will be saved in the shopping cart until you enroll in classes. It's important to note that simply adding a class to your shopping cart does not mean that you are enrolled in that class. You still have to review your shopping cart and enroll from there. Also note, if you are planning on enrolling in additional classes at another Los Rios college, you'll have a different shopping carts for each college. You can see what classes are being offered by visiting the Folsom Lake College homepage and clicking the class schedules on the right hand toolbar. While the information on this page provides more comprehensive information about the classes offered, remember that this tool doesn't indicate if the class is still open or if it is closed. Once your enrollment appointment has arrived and you know what classes you are going to take, you are now able to enroll. Begin by clicking Enroll, Add or Drop Classes under the Academic section. Make sure that you are active at the college by selecting the correct term in college for which you are adding courses. If you are enrolling in courses at a college other than your home college, you do not need to reapply a second time. Simply click the Add Another College button. Once you have selected the term in college for which you are selecting classes, click Continue. From this page, you should be able to see all of the classes that you have added to your shopping cart for that college. If you would like to delete any classes, do so now by clicking the trash can icon to the left of the class name. If everything looks accurate in your shopping cart, click the Proceed to Step 2 of 3 button at the top of the page. Review your classes one last time to ensure that everything looks accurate, and then click Finish Enrolling. A green check mark indicates that you have successfully enrolled into the course, and a red X mark indicates that you were not able to enroll into the course. Be sure to read the information listed under Message to learn why you are not able to enroll. It's really important that you immediately pay your enrollment fees as soon as you enroll into your classes. Students who don't make their payments will be automatically dropped from classes. To calculate your fees, go to the Student Center homepage and click on Account Inquiry. From there, you can click on the Make a Payment link. Oftentimes, students who are not able to enroll into math or English courses see a message here that states that they do not meet the prerequisites for the class. Avoid this by taking your math and English assessments prior to enrolling, or by submitting proof that you meet the prerequisites, 
such as AP scores or official transcripts, to the Admissions and Records Office before enrolling. See the Admissions and Records Office to learn more about how to clear prerequisites. You may also see a green check mark for a class that you attempted to enroll into that was marked as waitlisted. While the green check mark does not mean that you are enrolled into the waitlisted class, it does indicate that you have successfully been placed on the waitlist. Pay attention to the information listed under Message, which will tell you what position you are on the waitlist. If other students who are enrolled in the class decide to drop the class before the semester starts, you will move up on the waitlist or may even be automatically enrolled in the class. If you are eventually auto-added from the waitlist into the class, you will receive an email in your Los Rios Gmail notifying you that you are enrolled and must pay the enrollment fees for the class. It's important to check your Los Rios Gmail on a regular basis so that you are aware if this occurs. If you are still waitlisted when the semester starts, you must go to the class on the first day that the class is scheduled to begin. If there is room, the instructor may decide to add you and will give you a permission number. You will use a permission number to add the class. You can drop a class by clicking on the Enroll, Add, or Drop Classes link from the home page. Select the term in college in which you would like to drop the class and click Continue. You are automatically directed to the Add Classes page. Click on the Drop tab towards the top of the page. To drop a class, check the box to the left of the class that you would like to drop and then click Drop Selected Classes. On the next page, confirm that you would like to drop the class by clicking Finish Dropping towards the bottom of the page. If you received a permission number from a professor for a class in which you are waitlisted, you must first drop the class and then add the class again and enter your permission number. All right, those are the basics on how to enroll in classes through eServices. If you would like additional assistance, the Welcome and Student Success Center offers ongoing registration workshops to assist you with registering for your classes. Hi, I'm Ala, a Folsom Lake College student and I work in admissions and records. After completing steps one through five, you'll be ready to complete step six of the steps to success, paying for your classes. You can choose to do this online yourself or get help from staff in the Welcome and Student Success Center. The Student Success Team is here to help you if you have any issues or questions as you're paying for classes. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the online process and provide some helpful tips as we go. You can view the balance that you owe to the college by logging into your eServices account. Your account balance is displayed on the home page in the Finances section under Account Summary. Sometimes, if you have just added a class and you immediately return to the home page, the account summary will show a zero balance, even though you do owe money. If this happens, be sure to click on the Account Inquiry link to the left of Account Summary. You will then see your total balance owed and a breakdown of the fees and tuition that you owe to the college. You will not be charged for any waitlisted classes. When and if you do get enrolled into the course, you will then be expected to pay for your classes. That is why it's so important to check your Los Rios Gmail account to stay on top of these kinds of notices. You have several options to make payments for classes. The first option is to pay online through your eServices account. From the homepage in the Finances section, click on the Make a Payment link. Click Next and then Continue to Make a Payment. You'll be redirected to a new page, which will prompt you to make your payment using a debit or credit card. Once you have completed the payment, be sure to print a copy of the payment confirmation page for your records. You can also pay in person at the Admissions and Records office using a check, credit or debit card, or cash. If you are having difficulty affording tuition costs, it's important to visit the financial aid office to learn if you qualify for any financial aid. You may also be able to establish a payment plan with the Business Services office. Just be sure to apply for financial aid before registering for classes to make sure that you are approved and to avoid issues of non-payment. If you're considering dropping a class, you may be eligible for a refund. Make sure you refer to an academic calendar for drop and refund deadlines. On a side note, we always recommend that you talk to a counselor first before dropping a class. All right, you have completed all six steps to getting registered for classes. If you need any additional information about refunds or making a payment, stop by the Admissions and Records office and they will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on campus.